Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. So far we have discussed about clock related important topics of CTS and in this video we shall be learning about how do we analyze the CTS. So very easy and quickest way of doing it is to do all we are about to discuss now. We know clock is ideal in the placement stage and hence all timing analysis is based on an ideal clock till placement stage. In CTS we have the clock as propagated and hence you might see real clock network delay and latencies being propagated. So we do timing analysis here again for setup and hold and if you have seen our previous video on the timing fixes in the placement stage you would be aware that commonly we don't fix hold in the placement stage but we do check for hold in the CTS stage. Now one question that is asked in the interview is why we check for hold in the CTS but not in the placement and you have to find out and write the answer for that in the comment section for this question and we would love to respond to your answers there. Now coming back command to check for timing in the tool is report timing and then hyphen delay type max is for setup and min is for hold. We have already seen how to read timing reports and we assume that you already know how to understand the timing reports. If not, then link for that is available here. Now as part of your analysis, if there is any huge violation in the design, we need to find the reason for that. The most common cause for that could be the constraints are too tight or unrealistic resulting in the stressing of the tool, which makes the timing degradation happen. So we could correct the constraints for that. And next possible cause could be the tool is using incorrect buffers in this building of CTS. So we need to tell the use to specific set of buffers or inverters in that case. Sometimes there can be a possibility of congestion because of huge buffer insertion might happening. And that is in turn degrading your timing. And in that case we delete the unnecessary buffers and reroute your CTS. There can be multiple reason based on your case to case for timing degradation. And hence before proceeding further we need to find the what is the cause and analyze the proper timing. Now after that second important thing to analyze is whether your insertion delay and skew targets are verified or not. The command to check for that is report clock QR and then hyphen type summary. In that you will see the report looking something like this. So here you can see that attributes are there and then after how many things it is reaching to and then how many levels after that it is reaching. What is the maximum latency and the global skew and what are the DRCs. You can see that attribute here M represents your master clock and G represents the generated clock. After that we check for cap and tran targets. So for that the command ill is still the same that is the report clock QR hyphen type summary but here instead of hyphen type summary it becomes hyphen type DRC underscore violators. So DRC underscore violators it will give us what is the capacitance on clock or you can say that fan out status will be given and then we can see for transition. So these are the DRC violators that it will report for the clock. After that we check for whether the NDR applied is correct or not and what are the constraints. So command to check for report uh, your for NDRs is your report routing rule. So the command is report underscore routing underscore rule. It gives us the what are the routing rules used and then after that how do we check for constraints is generally we write out the constraints for so in the synopsis level tool the command to check for that what are the constraints are the command to do that is your write SDC. So write SDC should give you the synopsis design constraints file in which you can check for all the constraints that are being dumped out. This is a very high level analysis and that is how we check for clock level quality and we check for how the clock is being built and whether our targets are being met or not. So in addition to all these checks which we are doing while doing the analysis of our clock tree, we also check for the clock tree area and tree power. So clock tree power we check and we check for actually the design area. So that means we are checking for utilization of the design. That means with respect to your placement stage, your design utilization should not go beyond your control. Generally speaking, that is not a hard statement. It is a very generic statement. But generally speaking, one percentage is typical increase of your area in the case of placement to CTS. But it should be lesser or in the range of that. It cannot be like you have 3 to 4 percent of increase or more than that because if that happens then your design will go for a toss during the routing. 
but again this is a generic statement and it may happen and might not might not happen that depends on the case to case and design to design it is not a hard statement that is all for this video we will come up with more concepts in further videos till then please do like share and subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you